Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Thursday, April 11th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note if you're new to these videos, new to DocSports.com, and have yet to become a member, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and uh, you'll be able to use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Again, all you got to do to get started for that free $60 account is click on the link below the video. Uh, last night, some interesting stuff took place. Uh, we ended up sweeping in Major League Baseball. A couple of plays that we gave out, both winners. Uh, in the NHL, we had one play that was Vegas, and they couldn't have played basically any worse than they did, losing that game 5-2 to two to San Jose. But overall, nice winning day. And, uh, of course, the NBA wrapped up last night. So the cool thing about that is we'll be able to talk NBA playoffs. We're going to wait till tomorrow's video on the NBA playoffs, but we will comment on one thing, and that's the fact that uh, if you saw what happened last night, what transpired, uh, the Utah Jazz got the short end of the stick with the way things finished up. They're going to have to play the Houston Rockets. I'm not going to get by Houston there. And uh, all of a sudden, we got a real cool 2-7 matchup in the West as the San Antonio Spurs, who probably would have been stretched by Houston, uh, have a shot to upset the two-seed Denver Nuggets. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to Saturday's day action. So tomorrow when we start talking numbers and when the lines come out and all that good stuff, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the NBA postseason. NHL playoffs last night, uh, we saw boy, we saw Tampa Bay jump out to a 3 nothing into the first period lead, and then they put it in cruise control. That was that. They get beat 4-3 by Columbus, big underdog Columbus getting the win. But again, Tampa Bay, a situation of, you know, going into the game, playing extremely well in the first period, all one-sided, looked like it had a 6-1 final score written all over it, and then fallen asleep. Over the final two periods, they were outplayed, they got beat, and now they've got to uh, come back to the one game to none deficit. We saw the Islanders beat Pittsburgh in overtime 4-3. I didn't see a whole lot of that game. In fact, when we wrap up uh, the video here in just a minute, I'm going to be looking at a couple of these NHL games that I uh, DVR'd and weren't able to pay real close attention to. That'll be one of them. I want to see about the Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, St. Louis, I watched a lot of this game. The Blues knocking off Winnipeg 2-1. to one. And while Winnipeg scored first to go up one nothing, it was what St. Louis has done all season. First of all, uh, when they weren't clicking on all cylinders, they had Bennington, uh, who once again made great stop after great stop. I and mean, that could have easily been a 3 nothing lead uh, by Winnipeg before St. Louis got on the board. But Bennington... You know, he keeps them in the game. It's only one nothing, And then over the final period and a half, the Blues did what they do. They just continue to wear on hockey teams. And they've been that way uh, since the uh, calendar year changed from 2018 to 2019. They just keep wearing these teams down. That's what they did to Winnipeg. We talked about it on yesterday's video. I was set to make one, excuse me, set to make uh, St. Louis a series play, but that price was just showing up with no value on the Blues. Everybody and their mother were on the Blues. Uh, but they come through anyway. Listen, great game by David Perron. Tarasenko was okay. He played well for the most part. He can play better than he did. It's going to be a tough series for Winnipeg to win that one. Uh, Dallas got the win over Nashville 3-2. to two. We'll be watching that a little bit later on the DVR. And the other game that we paid close attention to uh, was Ve Vegas at San Jose. Sharks winning by a final score of 5-2. to two. And uh, starts out with a goal after both teams played extremely well on defense. Uh, but a goal that ricochets off a player's face, and Mark andre Fleury set up for the shot, goes off somebody's face, what are you going to do? It ends up in the back of the net. And uh, the thing about that is, boy, when you know, when you see something like that happens, you start to wonder if it is your night. But uh, listen, no excuse after that, because San Jose was the much better team the rest of the way than Vegas. And the Golden Knights couldn't have, I've been telling you what, man, Nate Schmidt couldn't have played a worse game. I've been watching this guy for two seasons now, in Vegas. I watched him when he played for the Capitals before Vegas came into existence, and this might have been the worst game I've ever seen out of Nate Schmidt. I have a feeling he's going to probably bounce back uh, with a very focused, intense effort in Game 2. Ryan Reeves, where the heck was Ryan Reeves? Was he auditioning for the Invisible Man in Game 1? How about getting out there and laying the wood to a couple of these players uh, that are roughing you up? San Jose were big-time bullies, and Vegas let it happen to him, and Ryan Reeves uh, was nowhere to be found. He's got to be a bit more of an enforcer. That's what they got him for. They're not getting him for his goals, even though he scored, what, nine goals on the year at career high. They got him to get out there and be a tough guy and, and kind of set the tone, and he was nowhere to be found on the ice last night. Uh, so it was just an ugly performance by Vegas. They better get it back together. As I mentioned on yesterday's video, while I like them in this series, while I think they can bounce back 
and win Game 2, which they better. I think the winner of Game 2 in this series will win the series. Uh, but uh, listen, the way they wrapped up the regular season with Marc-Andre Fleury missing so much time seemed to throw them off a little bit. But uh, no panic. I still think overall, top to bottom, they are the better team. But you can't have Nate Schmidt and a couple of those other players for Vegas playing as poorly as they did. Because San Jose is obviously a good team, and they'll they'll make you pay for uh, your shortcomings. That's what happened last night. So uh, that's the NHL. We had one play. That was Vegas in game one. We did go down to defeat with the Golden Knights in that one. We did sweep in baseball, as I mentioned, winning both of our plays on a Wednesday. And now on Thursday, a lot of day games in baseball on Thursday. And I've got one day game that happens to be a five-star play. It's second time this season that we've had a five-star play, and that's the highest play we've had so far. We don't go crazy with Six-star, seven-star plays first couple of weeks of the season. Those will probably be coming with matchups that we're looking at for this weekend uh, because now we got a couple of starts from those starters and all that good stuff and numbers to plug in uh, to what we do from a handicapping perspective. But we do have a five-star play. It's starting now, uh, just our second five-star play of the Major League Baseball season. It is a day game on Thursday. So if you want it, you got to go get it early. It'll be up and available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Thursday morning at DocSports.com. Going to be involved in two plays in the NHL, a couple of totals on Thursday, and uh, that's going to be everything for us on Thursday. Two NHL plays available on Thursday morning, DocSports.com, and the five-star uh, Major League Baseball play that we've got going after last night's sweep, and uh, that'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time again at DocSports.com. No NBA till Saturday. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Saturday's NBA on Friday's video. The Masters, by the time you watch this, may be underway because I'm recording this around, oh, 12, 30, quarter to 1 a.m. Pacific time on Thursday morning. And, of course, the Masters will be uh, getting underway in just about, uh, oh, four or five more hours uh, from now. And we do have four two-win plays over at DocSports.com. So if you're watching this before they tee off at the Masters, uh, you can still get my four plays that are available right now at DocSports.com, premium picks. All right, let's get to our free pick for Thursday's card. Again, a lot of day games uh, in baseball on Thursday, and we are going to back the Cleveland Indians over Detroit. Uh, your matchup there is going to be Bieber and Turnbull, and we have seen this price come down. That's one of the reasons we like the Cleveland Indians in this one. Uh, we do think that as far as these two teams are concerned, you know, when you look at what they've done, both teams have pitched well out of the pen, two of the top five bullpen ERAs thus far in 2019 in Major League Baseball as far as a low ERA. Neither team is sizzling at the plate. In fact, Detroit's averaging less than three runs per game on the season, yet they're eight and four because of that pitching. And listen, here's one of the difference makers for us. All right, both teams aren't scoring a bunch of runs. Both teams aren't like, you know, super high team batting average or over or high OBPs. In fact, uh, they're near the bottom of the league, both teams in those categories. But good bullpens, I like Bieber better than Turnbull. That's one of the issues here. And I also think that uh, we've got a, an advantage with Cleveland at the plate. If you look at what happened last year, that big body of work, when they're on the road in day games against right-handers, they averaged over six runs per game to the Tribe. Meanwhile, Detroit kind of did last year home day games against righties, what they're doing right now overall, not scoring runs. They averaged three runs in this spot last season. I think Cleveland's going to catch them here. I know the money's gone down. On the Tribe in this one, and again, that's one of the reasons we do like Cleveland. We think the value lies with the Indians in this contest. That game, by the way, will get started around 1.10 p.m. Eastern, 10.10 a.m. Pacific. All right, so the Cleveland Indians, the free play. Don't forget about uh, baseball, the five-star day game over at DocSports.com for Thursday. Both NHL plays also at DocSports.com on Thursday. That's going to do it for today's report. We'll be right back here on Friday. Uh, again, about 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Put them in the win column on Thursday, right back here Friday morning.